This is V from a Canadian RVer. What I've done in this video is I've stopped a squeaky door and I know some of the blogs on the Georgetown group are all talking about how their door squeaks when they're going down the highway. So let me show you what I did. So along the frame, right in here is where the squeak is. It's between the, the door and the outside door. So the squeak basically happens right in there, that it's uh, jiggling on the two frames. So to make it a lot tighter, what I've done is I went out and got some, what they probably are, I guess, is floor protectors for furniture. Like you can glue them on uh, feet of furniture and you can get them all kinds of shapes and sizes and so on. But what I did is I just put them real tight just along in there, in the frame. I'll go up a little higher. And you can see I've just went around in the inside frame part because where you want to stop the, the, the inside screen door from shaking and that's what's giving you the noise of the squeak. So now what happens is when, let me see if I can close the door properly. So here we are, we're just closing the door. And when it closes, you can see where it makes contact with that foam on the floor uh, protectors that you put in there. So when I close the door, it's tight. And you shouldn't be able to move the screen door at all. And it really works well. It's a very uh, inexpensive fix. It's a very quick fix. And uh, that's what actually stopped our squeaking. Now, when we're traveling, what I'll do is I might even put the deadbolt across, which is this one. And this is part of our, our RV door lock uh, system, which is a uh, remote control. And uh, uh, it's got a, a keyless fob. We use that quite often. But you can see when it, when it closes again, there's the pad right there. And I'll pull it in tight. And you can see just where it binds to the pad. And there's one right in there too. I don't know if you can see that. So that's what actually stops the squeaking. It's the door, the outside door and the inside door if they're not uh, bound very tight. The other thing that you can try doing is there's an adjustment right on that right there. There's a, two bolts that hold the dead uh, plate on there. And what you might want to do is, um, I don't know if you can see that in the video here. Let's see if I can get some better light for you. Yeah, there we go. There's a bolt right there and right there. There is a little bit of give in that. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your dead plate, where it hits the, the striker, you wanna make sure that it actually is tight. So the top one is where the dead bolt goes in and here's where the strike plate or the, um, the door actually, there's two, two points that where it, it locks. So it's there and there, that's the dead bolt hole, and that's the other uh, part, the striker plate, that um, the, the, the soft pin that as we call it, that goes in and out. All right, so that's another thing you might wanna do. So this is how I stopped my squeaky door. This is V from a Canadian RVer. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to know when we produce the next video. And we'll see you in our next video.